Hello students, welcome back. Let's begin with the final segment of our topic of chemical equilibrium, the leach atelier's principle. Let's start. So about leach atelier's principle now. So what is leach atelier's principle? The first thing which comes to mind. Okay. So leach atelier's principle states that on application of an external stress to a system which is in equilibrium, the system will adjust itself in such a way that the stress is partially offset okay so all which you are worried about the stress it will be offset and our entirely new equilibrium will be reached so the first thing which is what is this stress okay stress is nothing but factors that can affect As discussed earlier, all the factors that can affect the equilibrium are basically stress in leach atelier's principle. Okay. Now, <coughs> suppose the statement says if the concentration of reactants okay, increases, the where the equilibrium should shift. Fine. So, what is the job of leach atelier's principle? The job of leach atelier's principle is that in equilibrium, in equilibrium say that if it is uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide by partial pressure of carbon monoxide and partial pressure of oxygen gas okay so suppose that if this is the equilibrium and your equation for it will be co plus o2 is reversing to co2 two times co2 so if this is the case so uh, increase in the concentration of reactant so if i will increase the concentration of carbon monoxide and oxygen where the equilibrium will shift to can i say i am applying a stress in this part in order to liberate this stress that means in order to consume the extra amount of reactant which i have added i need to form some product so can i say it will shift to right because left to right obviously okay or it will shift on the product side okay increasing the concentration of product can i say it will be just the opposite case so it will be left or can i say it will be reactant side okay see if you going to understand this concept very clearly it is very simple otherwise at the same time it is really confusing how once again see increasing the concentration of reactant when you are increasing the reactant obviously it will shift on the other side the more pressure you applied on one side it will try to move on to the other side the more pressure you will apply in this side as in the case two it will move to this side that is the reactant side okay 